Well, some of the Twin Cities top chefs are going to be heading, uh, going head to head next weekend at an event to raise funds and awareness for mental health services in Minnesota. October 14th is the 10th anniversary of Valley Vine and Harvest Throwdown. Chef Ron Bonert from Louis Ristorante and Bar Inside Cassettas in St. Paul is one of the featured chefs. Welcome, it's good to uh, have you thanks. here. Good to thanks see you again us. as well. This is such a great event. It's the 10th anniversary of it. it. Brings together the top. And you've won how many times? Just two times. Just two, all right. Two out of the 10, so it's 10th anniversary. There'll be eight other chefs there, including myself. So it's kind of like a Harvest Valley throwdown, we call it. Mm -hmm. So it's at the Lake Amoyan Event Center. Uh, they will all create like, you know, they think is the best dish. And you know, sometimes I just walk in with what I like to do and it turns out to be the winner. Truly, you walk in there just <laughs> on the fly? Uh, so it's all in little tasting portions and then it's served with a matching wine. So as the day progresses, it starts to turn into a pretty good event. Which is wonderful. And the event uh, benefits Canvas Health, which serves uh, people struggling with mental illness and substance abuse. So really a wonderful opportunity to raise funds for that. Yep, yep. yep. And it always has a great crowd. And uh, you know, all the chefs try to sell tickets at their establishments to bring in a little more of their fans to it, get them to vote It them. looks like a really well pulled together event. We're it looking is. at some video of last year's and you can see, uh, you know, folks really uh, dress up and enjoy the occasion yep. with it. Well, you are uh, driving everyone uh, within, uh, I'd say, a half a mile pretty crazy here with what you're uh, whipping up this morning uh, here in the kitchen. Uh, it's a short trip for some people, oh, though. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there they are. What are you making here today? We're making some yeah. rigatoni norcina, which is a great way to showcase the uh, Cassetta Italian sausage. So it's uh, guanciale which is the uh, Roman bacon. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Cassetta Italian sausage. We have some porcini mushrooms, they're dried, and then we reconstitute them. So you get it all cooked down and then you deglaze it with a little white wine. And then you just put in a little cream. And then we cook that down. So I've been cooking it here for a couple hours. So it, that, that's what it takes to cook it down yep, that far, yep, right? Yep. yep, you cook it down until you the cons consistency you like. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like. You mentioned the Cassetta market, which is wonderful. If you can't find it in that market, all things Italian and Mediterranean, that uh, really doesn't exist. It's, it's just the market. There. Yeah. We uh, have the butcher shop. We make all of our, uh, uh, grind all of our mm -hmm. sausages, the ground beef. We've got a full meat uh, case. We've got a prepare, prepared foods case. Uh, we've got the eatery, we've got the Louis uh, restaurant up on the third floor. Which is a great venue. Great it's just venue, great, great nice patio. Up there and patio. Yeah, yeah, outdoor patio. So Let this is about here, and yep. then we got the rigatoni. So this is rigatoni, and then I just blanched it a little earlier. Nice. Let me just give it a little warm up in here. So we got our sauce, so you can see how it cooks down to just perfect like velvet consistency. Now, are you hinting at next weekend this may be what you're doing or you're not tipping your hand at well, all Well, I think this is a pretty Ooh, close I version. <laughs> it's a pretty close I version. Take it anymore. <laughs> uh, I told you, they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're lighting up outside well, the door here. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, just I, beautiful. Leave the cookies on. So a nice mix up oh, there. On the cookies and the pastries, we have the uh, pasticceria. Now you just rip off a piece of bread. Well, you don't cut it, that's not Italian. Oh, look at, you well, they're already first. fighting over the baguette. Yeah. I mean, what can I say here? Yeah. Uh, this is just great. So that cooks down. So all, all told, how much time have you put into this, Chef? Uh, it takes yeah. about, I would say, about an hour. Mm. You know, once you let it cook down, an hour should be plenty. Yes, it's one of those great Sunday afternoon kind of meals. Yeah, you know, that and you, you can have the sauce. Once it's cooked down, you can just keep it real low on simmer. Mm. Do your pasta put the sauce in the pan, add the pasta, save a little of the pasta water. If it gets a little too thick, mm -hmm. add just a little bit of the pasta water to it. And then it's always finished with some Parmigiana. Oh yeah. Mm, lovely. Well, that's, that's Bobby's portion. What about poor Dave? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got one extra. Good man. <laughs> so, 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 so for the, for the, event, for the event, you get uh, 
uh, tasting plate so you don't get a big pasta bowl. You get oh. a little tasting plate. So you go to each of the chefs mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. it and they uh, each make it. You can always go back plate. for seconds. Again, chef, we want to thank you for being here. Good luck again. A two time winner of this wonderful uh, event. Uh, the Valley Vine and Harvest Festival Throwdown is October 14th at Lake Elmo Event Center. We have a link hey. in today's recipe. There are very That's few tickets sauce. left, I was just told, on this at care11.com. So mm. awesome there.